everybody, welcome to part three of my teddy bear crochet along. So in the last two parts, I showed you how to make the head and the body. So today we're going to be making the ears, the arms, and the legs. So let's just get started. I will put links to part one and two, just so that you have them. Or you can go to my channel page and then find those videos there. So we're going to start on the ears. So to start off, we're going to make a magic circle. So to do that, we will make an X on our finger, like that. And then take our crochet hook and put it into the first loop. And then pull the second loop through the first loop. And then we will yarn over and pull through. And that's our magic circle. So then we're going to chain one and then do six single crochets into the magic circle. So to do a single crochet, you go into the circle, then yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through both loops that are on your crochet hook. So we'll do six single crochets all the way around. And after that, we will slip stitch to the first single crochet. So make sure that you're not slip stitching to the chain, but the single crochet. So you can see the chain right here. It's not that, it's the single crochet. So there is the first round of the first ear. So now what we're going to do is pull on the end to close up. The hole in the middle of the ear. So just pull on the end. And if it doesn't, which this is velvet yarn, so the furry type of material is around a piece of string. So if it doesn't let you pull it, then that's um, totally fine. You can just leave it the way it is. So now for round two, we're going to chain one. And then in the first stitch, we're going to do an increase or two single crochets. So we just did one single crochet into that first stitch. Then in that same stitch, we'll do another single crochet. So there's an increase. And we'll do that in each single crochet all the way around. And by the end of this round, you should have 12 single crochets in total. So once we've finished that, we will slip stitch to the first single crochet. And remember, this is not the first chain. Well, the chain at the beginning of the round. And then we'll chain one. So now what we're going to do is just do one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. There are no increases or anything like that. And now after that, we will slip stitch to the first single crochet, then chain one. And now for the next round, we will just do the same as the last round, just one single crochet into each stitch. Now we are going to slip stitch to the first single crochet and then finish off. So to finish off, you pull up the loop on that's on your crochet hook. And then you take your scissors and cut a decent length of yarn so that you can sew this ear to the head. So probably around oh, 7 inches. So there's the end. And then we'll take the loop and then pull the end through the loop and pull. So there is our first ear. Now we're just going to make one more of these. And here are our two ears. So now let's move on to the arms. Now for the arms, we are going to start the same way that we did with the ears. So we're going to take the yarn and then make a magic circle. And then we will chain one and do six single crochets into the magic circle. And then after we do the six single crochets, 
we will slip stitch to the first single crochet. And then if you can, pull on the end. If you can't, that's fine. Now we will chain one and then do one increase or two single crochets into each stitch all the way around. So at the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. And after that, we will slip stitch to the first single crochet. And then chain one. So now for the next round, we will do one single crochet. And then one increase or two single crochets in the same stitch. So we're going to repeat this all the way around. So that's one single crochet into the next stitch and then an increase or two single crochets into the stitch after, after this you should have 18 stitches so now we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one then for the next round we will do um, one single crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase into the third stitch so repeat that all the way around so after that you should have 18 stitches so now for the next round we'll slip stitch to the first stitch and chain one and then we'll do one single crochet into each stitch all the way around so no increases after that we'll slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one then for the next round, we'll do one single crochet into each stitch all the way around, just like the last round. Next, we will slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. Then what we're going to do is do one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then we will do one decrease so to do a decrease you go into the first stitch right there and then yarn over and pull through then you'll go into the next stitch and yarn over and pull through then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your crochet hook so we'll repeat this all the way around and at the end of the round you will notice that there are two single crochets left so what we're just going to do is do two single crochets and no decrease. Then we'll slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. So now for the next round, we'll do one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. We'll slip stitch to the first single crochet and then chain one, and then do one single crochet into each stitch around and then after that we will slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one so now we will do just one single crochet into each stitch around just like the last two rounds after that we will slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one so now we're going to do one single crochet and then one decrease so just like before go into the first stitch and yarn over and pull through then go into the second stitch and yarn over and pull through then yarn over and pull through all three loops that are on your crochet hook so just repeat this around at the end after you do the single crochet you'll notice there aren't enough stitches to do a decrease so just do one single crochet into that last stitch and then do one slip stitch into the first single crochet and chain one so now what we're gonna do is do one single crochet into each stitch all the way around after that we will slip stitch to the first single crochet and then chain one so now for the next round we will do one single crochet into each stitch around then we'll slip stitch to the first single crochet 
and that is our first arm. So all we have to do is pull up the loop that's on our crochet hook and cut a decent length of yarn as we did for the ears and then take our scissors and cut about uh, eight inches because this is a little bit larger than the ears. Then take the loop and pull the end through the loop and pull. Then all we need to do is stuff this arm. To stuff the arm, we're going to need a pretty decent amount of stuffing. I'm starting out with this much, but you may need more. So just take a little bit and then put it into the arm like this. We're gonna be stuffing it the same way that we did with the head and the body. So once you've got that in there, we're just gonna sort of spread it out to the sides of the actual crocheted part. So that's kind of creating a stuffing layer. So once you've done that, we'll take more stuffing and put it inside. And just repeat in the same way. So just stuff the arm until it's pretty firm, not rock solid, but also not so that you can bend it super easily. And you can shape it however you want. And there's that. So I'm going to make a second arm following the same pattern for this arm and then I will show you how to make the legs. Here are the arms. So now let's get started on the legs. The legs we are going to start off the same way that we did for the arms. So we will make an X on our finger and put our crochet hook into the first loop and pull the second loop through the first loop. So that's just a magic circle. Then we'll yarn over and pull through. And then after that, we will chain one and then do six single crochets into the magic circle. And after that, we will slip stitch to the first single crochet. And if you can, pull on the end. So then we will chain one to begin round two. So for round two, we're going to do one increase or two single crochets into each stitch around. So you should have 12 single crochets after this round. And after that, we will slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. So next what we're going to do is do one single crochet into the next five stitches. And then one increase into the next four stitches. And then we will do one single crochet into the next three stitches to end the round. Then we'll slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. So next, we're going to do one single crochet into the next seven stitches. And then one increase into the next four stitches. And 
and then we will do one single crochet into the next five stitches to end off the row. And after that we'll slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. So now for round five, we will do one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So right now you should have 20 stitches. That's the at the end of this round. So next we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. So then what we're going to do is do one single crochet into each stitch around. Then we will slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. So now for the next round, we're going to do one single crochet into the next seven stitches. And then we'll do three decreases. So to do a decrease, you go into the first stitch and yarn over and pull through, then go into the second stitch and yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three loops that are in your crochet hook. So we'll do three total of those. And after that, we will do six single crochets. Then we'll slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. So now for the next round, we will do one single crochet into the next six stitches. Then we will do three decreases. Then we will do one single crochet into the next five stitches. Oops, that's four stitches, not five. Then we will slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. Now what we're gonna do is one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. And for the next round, we will slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. So then we will just do one single crochet into each stitch around. After that, we will slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. So next what we're going to do is do one single crochet into the next five stitches. Then we're going to do one increase. And then we'll do one single crochet into the next four stitches. And then one increase. And then two single crochets to end off the round. So next we'll slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one to begin the next round. So for the next round, we are going to do one single crochet into each stitch around. Then we'll slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. So now for the next four rounds, all we'll do is one single crochet into each stitch around. So do that for the next four rounds. And that is the first leg. So all we have to do is pull up the loop that's on our crochet hook, which I already did, and then take our scissors and cut the end of the yarn about eight inches, I'd say. So 
So there's that. Then we will open up the loop and pull the end through the loop and pull. So there is the first leg. So we'll make one more of these legs. And here are the legs. So whenever you look at them from the side, they are going to look like the heel is a little bit longer than the toe part. But whenever we stuff it, it's going to look just fine because we're going to shape it. So let's start with one of the legs and I'll show you how to stuff it. So it's pretty much the same thing as the head and the arms, except we have this larger part here, which is the foot. So we're going to take a little bit of stuffing and then put it inside. And then we'll spread it around to create a layer inside of the foot. So now we have the layer of stuffing inside. Then we're gonna take some more and stuff it inside. And then just shape it. Make sure it's nice and firm, not too firm, but you don't want it too soft because then it can go into a shape that you don't want it to be in really easily. And once you finish the foot, then you can stuff the leg. So there's the first foot. Now for the leg, just take some more stuffing and stuff it inside. So try not to get the stuffing on the top part because we're going to pinch the two sides together like this so that we can sew the leg onto the bear. So there's the first leg. And now for the second leg, I'm going to do the same thing. And there is the second leg. So now you should have your two finished legs, the actual body of the teddy bear, and both of the arms, along with both of the ears. To assemble the bear, we are going to need a yarn needle. So you can use either a metal one or a plastic one. This one has a sharp point, so I think it might be difficult to just thread the yarn through the bear, so I'm going to use the plastic one. So let's start with the legs. So to sew on the legs, what we are going to do is take one leg and then take the bear, the body. Then what we're going to do is just figure out where we want to place the legs. So we're going to actually take the other leg as well. So I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to keep one of the legs in the spot that I set it. Then I'll take the end of the yarn and then the yarn needle and thread the end of the yarn through my yarn needle. Then I will go into the one stitch of the first side of the leg and then one stitch of the other side of the leg, like that. Then I will pull that through first, then go into the bear on the edge of where I want the leg to be. So for this, I'm going to go into one stitch or part of a stitch like that and just thread the yarn through and that is the first stitch for sewing this together 
So then what I'm gonna do is just look at it from the angle of the bottom of the body and then go into both sides of the leg like that and then go into the next stitch of the body going towards the center of the body So there's the second stitch and I'm just going to continue on in the same way all the way until I get to the this other end of the leg. And once you get to the other side of the leg, just go into the corner stitch where it's folded. There's like one stitch where it just is where the half of the leg is. Then go into that, and then go into the body, and then go out onto the other side where we started sewing the leg. And then we'll pull that through. And then since I noticed that there's this little stitch that didn't get sewn, I'm just going to sew that to the body right now. So I'll just go into those two sides and then go into the body. Now I'm just going to go into the leg one more time then into the body one more time and then come up in a random spot that is not close to where the leg is like that and then just to make it extra secure i'm gonna put the yarn needle back onto the yarn and then go through the body again and then come out on the other side then I'll just cut the end. And we've sewn on the first leg. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna sew the second leg on in the same way, and then I'll be back to show you how to sew the arms together. When I got to the end of the leg, I noticed that the middle part of the legs are just a little bit looking detached from the body. So I'm just gonna go into the body and then go down into the beginning of this second leg. And then I'm going to go into the first leg, just the edge of that first leg, and then go back into the body, right where in the middle of those two legs. And there's that. And then I'll just go into the body one more time and then go up in a different spot so I can secure the end. And then I will go into a different spot just to make it extra secure. And there's that. So then I'm going to cut this end. And now we can sew the arms to the body. So to sew the arms, we'll just take one arm and then place it wherever you want to, just to make sure that it's where you want it. So I think that looks good. Then I'm gonna take my yarn needle and thread the end of the yarn through my yarn needle and sew the arm to the body in the same way that I did with the legs. And 
And then once you've gotten to the end of the arm, then just go into the last stitch and go down into the body. And then up into the other side of the body. Then go down into the body again. Then go up into a different part of the body. And now the first arm is sewn up. So then we'll do the same thing for the second arm. And then I'll cut the end. And now the arms are sewn on. So now I'll show you how to do the ears. Okay, now let's sew the ears on. So just take one of your, actually both of your ears, and just find where you would like to place them. I think this looks pretty good. Also look from the side just to make sure that it looks okay and once you've done that you might want to actually pin the ears to the head just to make sure that you have them where you want them to be so i'm gonna take just a needle and sort of fake pin it down and then after we've done that we can start sewing the ear on so just take one of the ears and then with the end of the yarn from one of the ears, thread that into your needle. And then place it where you'd like it to be. Then go into both sides of the ear so one stitch on each side like that and then go down into one stitch of the body so we're doing it just as we did with the arms and the legs And always make sure that the ear is in the position you want it to be. So then just do this all the way across the head. So go down into both sides of the ear. And then go into one stitch of the body. So just do this all the way across for the whole ear. And once you get to the other side, just go into the last stitch or stitches and go down into the body or head and up into different part. And I'd like to attach the this side of the ear to the head a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back there. And then sew that end to the body. And go down into the, oh, sew it to the head, not the body. <laughs> so then I'll go down into the head, and then there's the first ear sewn on. So just do the same thing for your second ear. Make sure it's in the placement that you'd like it. And then you are finished with the majority of the assembly 
for your teddy bear. So now we're gonna work on the muzzle of the bear. So to do that, what we're going to do is kind of like pinch the front part of the face so that it kind of makes a muzzle shape. So then what I'm gonna do is I have a pretty long strand of yarn with my yarn needle. So what I'm gonna do is go into one stitch at the bottom of the sort of nose bump. So I'm gonna go into one stitch of that, probably right here. And then I will skip the next stitch or two, then go into the stitch after that. And they don't even have to be stitches, they can just be loops of the head. So then what I'm going to do is make a muzzle bear nose shape. So here, I'm just going to pull the yarn through those stitches. And then I'm going to tie a knot at the end of this strand of yarn. Make sure it's big enough so that it doesn't fall through any stitches. And then whenever you pull on it, you should be able to have those stitches cinch up together. So then just go around the bump that you created into each stitch. Well, not each stitch, but you're going to skip a stitch or two and then go into a stitch. So that it's kind of like on drawstring bags, whenever you crochet them, they have a cinched up part because you're whenever you pull on the drawstring, you're going to cinch it up, except this is like a permanent cinch. So I'm going to go through those stitches. And pull that and then I'll just continue around all the way back to where I started What I'm gonna do is just finish up this part and there is the nose of our bear so from the side you can see we've just shaped the nose and the mouth part so now what we're gonna do is tie a knot with the beginning of the strand of yarn that we used in the end Make it really secure just so that you know it's not going to fall apart. And then we can sew those ends into the head to make it extra secure. End of yarn. And now all we have to do is add the eyes and the nose and the mouth. So I'm going to first show you 
how to sew the mouth in those. So you're going to need some brown yarn. So here's my brown yarn. It's just some medium weight yarn. And then I'm going to cut a decent length of it. Then I'll thread the yarn through my yarn needle. And basically what we're going to do is stitch the nose and mouth um, so that it looks like a nose and mouth, just using lines to make it look like that. So just starting from a point of the head, we're going to go to the left just slightly of the middle of the muzzle. So right here. Then we will go all the way through with that yarn and make sure there's a long enough end here. Then we'll make a stitch that's really short probably one stitch or row length and then we will go down into here one row length from that beginning of our stitch and then go up up right here right next to this yarn that we have so we'll go up So there's that first stitch for the nose. And then I'm gonna go down into the, a little bit under this row here so that I can make another stitch, but it's going to be slightly longer because normally the bear's nose is like triangular but we're keeping pretty much the same height up here so right around that row and there's the second stitch then we'll go down a little bit farther from that second stitch and then up into the same part or height as the last stitch then there's the third stitch so we're just going to continue on in the same way to make a nose So now what I'm going to do is just go down into this part here where there's still a little pink and then go up into the middle of the top of the nose. And then I'll go down into the middle of the bottom of the nose. Except go back up in the middle of the bottom. just into a loop of the head. I just made a little knot on the bottom of the nose. You don't have to, but that's just what I did. And then I'm going to make a line going down to just make the bottom part of the nose leading to the mouth. like so and then I will 
just go into the part of the muzzle where I want the mouth to end. And then I'll go back into the middle of the mouth. And then I'll go up into the other end where I want the mouth to end. And then I'll go back into the middle of the mouth once again. Then I'll go up into the head so that I can secure the yarn. So I'm going to do is go into the part of the head where I want one of the eyes to be. So I think right here looks good. And then I'll go into a separate part of the part where I want the eye, except make sure that it isn't the same hole where your yarn is. Then I will go into the part where I want the second eye. Make sure you pull it pretty tight so that there's actually a noticeable dent in the head. So then do the same thing with the other eye, except go out into a different part of the head. And then cut the yarn, and then there is the nose and the mouth. So now all we need to do is add the eyes. For the eyes, what I did was I used hot glue to create little, these little coin sized bead, like flat beads. And then I painted them black with nail polish. So that's what I did for the eyes, but you can use these little eye bead things that you screw into the head so that's just what I use for the eyes but this is my finished teddy bear um I hope you enjoyed learning how to crochet this little pink velvet teddy bear I thought it was a really fun crochet project to make and I hope you enjoyed making it as well so thank you for watching and have a great day bye